Hello everyone. Hello my dear students. A warm welcome to you all in this video lecture. In this chapter we are going to discuss reproduction in organisms. So this is one of the easiest chapters in your class 12 syllabus. I am saying it the easiest one because you already have been studying it since your junior classes. I think in class 7th or 8th you already have studied what is reproduction and what are the two main types of reproduction. Uh, the two main types of reproduction you are knowing uh, sexual reproduction and the asexual reproduction. So uh, since now you are in class 12, you are a senior student. So the same chapter you are going to discuss in a little bit of greater detail. So let us see what is there in this chapter. For convenience purpose, I have divided this chapter in two modules. The first module will be about life span. Second module will be about reproduction. So this uh, module is very short module and uh, reproduction is the uh, will be the longest module out of the two. Let us start with the lifespan. What is lifespan? So before that please uh, let me ask you to take out your pen and paper so that you can uh, make the notes also. You are going to appear for your class 12th boards exams. There you will be asked to write the short notes. So for that, that uh, please uh, write down whatever I am writing over the board. I am trying to uh, give the shortest notes as uh, as short as possible because I know uh, there is a lot of the text in uh, your book and you cannot remember everything from your book. Okay, so let us see what is lifespan. So lifespan is a time from birth of an organism birth of an organism so whenever i am saying organism you have to understand that i am talking about the living organism because you know that reproduction is one of the characteristic features of living organisms so life span is the time from birth of an organism until its death until its death means an organism is born and it dies so this duration will be the life span means how long that organism has lived and you know that every living organism has a certain uh, age after which it dies so death is an ultimate truth for all the living organisms so now that you have understood what is life span please write down the definition you won't be asked to write the definition of life span your board's exam but yeah you will be asked to write the uh, short notes on uh, like uh, if uh, if you are asked to uh, uh, write short notes on uh, the reproduction in organisms you can start with the definition of the life span so to supplement your uh, short notes you need a lot of the material so for that material i am asking you to write down the definition also although you have understood although this is very simple definition but still you have to write because you have to get the marks also so this was about the life span now there are certain terms associated with the life span One more thing you know from the living world itself, you don't need to study about it but yeah you already know that all the living organisms have different lifespans. Like a dog can live up to 10 to 15 years, a parrot can live up to 140 years, then a banyan tree can live up to uh, approximately 200 years and so on. So there is, there is uh, quite a variation in the life span of living organisms on earth like uh, a crow can live up to 15 years but a parrot which is also a bird it can live up to the parrot can live up to 140 years so there's a, a large difference between the life span there's a diversity in the life span now we are uh, moving forward to see the few terms associated with the life span what can be the terms first term is maximum life span maximum life span what is maximum life span so for example 
if you have to calculate the life span maximum life span of dog species so the dogs will be living in the whole world dog species will be found in the whole world then if i have to find the maximum life span of dog species i will have to look up to the ages at which thousands of dogs would have died like uh, say some dog has died for approximately dog one has died at 15 years dog two dies at 9 years dog 3 dies at 12 years and so on in world there will be millions of dogs so the death uh, the ages at which those dog would have died is seen is analyzed then ultimately to find the maximum life span the dog which would have lived the longest that uh, the dog would which, which would would have lived the longest out of all the dogs uh, analyzed will be uh, will give the maximum life span means in this example if i consider that there are just three dogs in the whole world and i have to find the maximum life span of dog species dog species then i will say that the maximum life span of uh, uh, according to my data will be 15 years because here there are three dogs 12 9 15 and 15 years the dog which have lived 15 years has lived the longest out of my data so this 15 years will be the maximum life span for the whole dog species now maybe some dog can die after 2 years after 4 years but that is not considered because my maximum life span will be given by that particular dog which would have lived the longest so let us write down this in words the same thing i am going to write down in words one thing is clear for the maximum life span is, is that it is calculated for a species in this example i took the example of dog species the same way maximum life span of tigers will be there the maximum life span of cats will be there the maximum life span of parrots will be there maximum life span of human beings will be there so maximum life span is calculated for a species for a species not for a person or not for an organism it is calculated for a species so maximum life span is the age of individual of an species individual of an species which would have lived the longest which would have lived the longest concentrate on these things lived the longest individual of an species of a species individuals of a species which would have lived the longest so this is the way to memorize the things when i was a student i used to do this these things like there's a definition so what are the key points what are the keywords in that so uh, just simply uh, underline those keywords it will be helpful and also if you keep the same habit for your board exams you will get better marks because when the uh, copy is uh, in front of the examiner he or she can uh, clearly see that you know the uh, exact things uh, on which uh, that uh, particular definition is focused like here you have to uh, focus on individual of a species for maximum life span individual of a species is important then which would have lived the longest so this is our definition of maximum life span now let us see the second term associated with life span hope you are getting it hope you are not getting bored okay fine so the next term associated with life span is average life span 
average life span well fine if you have to find the average marks uh, of a student in five uh, given subjects what will we what will you do you will simply add up the uh, marks in all the five uh, subjects then divide it with five the same thing is done here so for calculating the average life span uh, okay fine before that just know that the average life span if i have to calculate the average life span of human species then i would have to consider the fact that the life span of one human being living in india will have a different life span than one individual living in japan because there are geographical conditions means there are climatic conditions then there are health facilities so there are uh, there is difference in the nutrition so there are so many factors coming into play when you have to calculate the average life span so for the average life life span you cannot calculate uh, uh, the life span of all the human species living in different geographical areas although you can calculate but that is not significant so therefore uh, for calculation of average life life span we have to confine ourselves in a defined geographical area for example uh, we have to consider a population and you know what is population population is a group of individuals of same species so a population can be either a village or it can be country so for our uh, uh, definition i'm going to take a example of a country as population suppose in uh, india is a population i have to find the average life span of human species living in india so what will i do i will simply consider the ages of all the human beings here uh, i will basically consider the uh, ages of the, uh, all the human beings which would have died then i will sum up them and will divide with the total number of individuals which i would have analyzed so that will give my average life span for human species living in india same way uh, the average life span of human species living in japan could be calculated so let us write down the definition average life span is the minimum number of years survived by an individual or an organism living in living in one geographical area geographical area for example the average life span of human species living in india is 64 65 years for japan it will be approx 100 years because they live longer than the indian indians so this was the second term associated with the life span average life span next term next and the last term associated with life span is life expectancy 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 word comes from expectation and you already know how much score does your uh, or how much percentage does your parents expect from you from the board exams or how much marks is expected from you from your neat exam so the same expectation life expectancy life expectancy is nothing simply it is a age is the age up to which up to which an organism will live up to which an organism is the estimated age estimated life expectancy is the estimated age up to which an organism will live 
so this life expectancy calculation is based on average life span average life span you studied just a little before so this life expectancy is based on average life span if you know the average life span of indians which is 64 65 years then you can tell the life expectancy of a newborn uh, who is born just now if a newborn is just uh, uh, a newborn uh, gets birth just now to uh, on today's date then you can tell uh, his or her life expectancy you can say that this particular uh, uh, newborn or this particular baby is going to live at least 64 65 years 64 65 years how did you know that you uh, know that because of the average life span because average life span of indians is is 64 65 years so this is why you can say that this particular uh, baby is going to live at least up to the average life span of the indians so this is life expectancy so here i am uh, completing this uh, first module in the second module we are going to discuss reproduction so reproduction is a theme of main theme of this chapter this chapter is about reproduction in living organisms so in the second module we are going to see what is reproduction